Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again with a quick review of the intelligent batteries for the DJI Avada drone. Now, if you're flying an FPV drone today, you know that a drone this size will probably get between two minutes and eight minutes of flight time from the average LiPo pack that's fully charged. And that's not great. So what DJI did when they were designing the Avada is they said, you know what? We can do better. We're going to build a battery that's smart. We're going to build a controller inside of it. We're going to increase the energy density to give you more electrons in there to power the drone when it's up in the air. And between all those things, this battery on a single charge can provide up to 18 minutes of flight time on the drone, which is absolutely incredible. That's two or three times as long as most other battery packs. And it can do that because the battery is smart. It's constantly talking to the drone. It's squeezing every last electron out of those cells inside there. And again, the energy density is much better than most other LiPo packs on the market. Now, let me give you some specifications on the battery, and then I'll talk a little bit more about the brains inside this unit. So the battery itself provides 2420 milliampere hours, which is quite a bit. It's 14.76 volts, which equates to a 35.71 watt hour. So you've got a really dense energy pack here that can deliver a lot of power to the drone. And inside there, there's a controller. So when you're charging the battery, you don't have to worry about having a really smart charger outside the battery like most LiPo packs require. You're charging it off a standard USB-C connection, and the controller inside the battery is taking responsibility for distributing that charge across the cells. It's also keeping track of how many times it's been charged. Once you plug it into the drone, it starts a communication with the drone to let the drone know how much power is left, if it's working okay, if there's an over temperature, under temperature, short circuit, all those things are being controlled by the controller inside the battery. And again, it's talking to the controller inside the drone. So you've got this relationship between the battery and the drone that there's this constant communication going on, letting the drone know, hey, how's my power source doing? Am I gonna be okay to stay up in the air? And the cool thing is, if you're not paying attention, and the battery level gets down too low, the drone takes over and flies back where it took off and lands. So it's, it's a smart system all the way around. And again, the big difference between a standard LiPo pack you'll use on most FPV drones is that they're dumb. There's no intelligence inside those LiPo packs. They're just lithium polymer, and you gotta charge them with a smart charger. Be careful when you're charging them. Use them in the drone and then recharge them again. This one, you've actually got an intelligent battery in your hands here, which again is a beast of a battery. Now to put it in the drone, it's pretty simple. Just slides in like that. You'll hear it click, and then you'll push the two connections in on the bottom. And you can charge the battery directly from a USB-C charger, or you can use the charging hub, which allows you to plug in up to four batteries at the same time. And the charging hub has intelligence inside of it as well. And what that charging hub will do is it'll look at all the batteries that are plugged into it. It'll find the one that needs the least amount of charge and charge that one first. When that's finished, it's gonna shut it off, move on to the next one that needs the least amount of charge. So it's gonna walk through any battery you've got plugged into the hub and sequentially charge them so you've got four fully charged batteries. Again, I can't get over the engineering behind what DJI's done with their technology. And to sit down and think about a standard LiPo pack that's used with most FPV drones as again, just a dumb battery source and build one that's got brains inside of it that protects your drone, it protects the battery. It allows you to squeeze every electron out of that battery to keep that drone up in the air as long as possible. I think it's just a brilliant design. So these are great. They work really well with the Avada. And my suggestion would be when you start flying this drone with one battery, as soon as you land it, you're gonna think, boy, I wanna stay up in the air longer. I need more batteries. So go out, look for some more batteries. And if you've got the budget for it, take a look at the Fly More Kit because it includes two batteries and the hub which is a better value than buying them individually. So that's really all I had for today. Thanks an awful lot for watching. I hope you found this review helpful. And until next time, as always, stay nerdy.